In this video, we're going to be doing a recap of the three types of transformation and what that means when we look in, well, when we look at doing it in function notation. So, the three types of transformation that we have are translation, we have reflection, and we have stretch. Okay, or stretching. So translation, reflection, and stretch. So if we start off in all three cases with y is equal to f of x, okay, then if we perform a translation, dropping my pens, uh, by the vector a, b, okay, what you must remember to do is replace x with x minus a and replace y with y minus b. Okay? So what's going to happen is that if I replace y with y minus b and I replace x with x minus a, then in function notation, if I write it as y equals, then this is f of x minus a plus b. So whatever's inside the brackets change sign, and what is outside the bracket stays the same. So that was translation. Now reflection could be in the x-axis, or it could be in the y-axis. If it was in the x-axis, okay, so we were going from a point to a point, then it was just the y's, the y-coordinate, that was changing. So we replace y with minus y. And if it was in the y-axis, then it was the x-coordinate that was changing sign. So you replace x with minus x. So in other words, in function notation, if I replace y with minus y, then I now have what minus y is f of x. And if I write that as f of x, or y equals, so that's y minus f of x. So the minus on the outside represents a reflection in the x-axis. If you replace the x with minus x, then we have y is equal to f of minus x. So if the minus is inside the bracket, then it's a reflection in the y-axis. So really, what all we need, we don't need that bit anymore, and we don't need that bit anymore. Get rid of it. Okay. And this is my starting equation. And then finally you get onto the stretch. So the stretch can be in the x direction, factor k, or it can be in the y direction, factor k. Now, if it's in the x direction, factor k, then you replace x with 1 over k, x. And if it is in the y direction, factor k, replace y with 1 over k, y. That's what we found out in the previous video. So if you start off with y equals f of x, and you replace x with 1 over kx, then this is y is equal to f of 1 over kx. And if you replace the y with 1 over ky, you have 1 over ky is f of x. And if you multiply through by k, 
then y is equal to k f of x. Okay, so these are the ground rules, okay, for graph transformations. You have the translation, you have the reflection, and you have the stretch. Now, what that means is that you need to be able to hone your skills of being able to spot which type of transformation it is. If you've got plusing a number of negative numbers, or uh, sorry, adding or subtracting of numbers there inside the bracket or outside, it's going to be a translation. If you've got a minus the whole function, or a minus inside the function like that, minus x, then that will be a stretch. And if you have a number in front of the x has suddenly appeared, or a number outside of the whole bracket suddenly appeared, then it's going to be a stretch, and you need to determine whether it was inside the bracket or outside. In the next video, we're going to go through some examples, just so you can see how you can identify which would be which.